Okay, so <clears throat> let's go through each of these directions one by one. So the first thing they ask us to do is to find the measurement of angle B. So that's going to be this one right there. So, well, I know that this is a straight line. So though that is a linear pair. So I can say 40 degrees plus angle B is going to equal 180 degrees. Subtract 40 on both sides. We get angle B is equal to 140 degrees. So put that in here, 140 degrees. So next, it asks us to find the measurement of angle D. Let's change colors. Say, okay, well, we know this. These two angles also make a straight line. So that is also a linear pair. So we're going to say 40 degrees plus angle D equals 180 degrees. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to subtract 40 degrees on both sides. And we get angle D is also equal to 140 degrees. So you put that in, 140 degrees. Let's just do the last one, and we'll change colors one more time. So now that we know angle B, find the measure of angle C. Well, B and C also form a linear pair. So I can say 140 degrees plus angle C equals 180 degrees. If I subtract 140 from both sides, we get angle C is equal to 40 degrees. So I can put that in here. 40 degrees. So this is kind of interesting. If I if we get rid of these letters and just have the angle values, we see that the opposite angles, 40 degrees, 40 degrees, those are congruent. 140 degrees, 140 degrees, they're on opposite sides. Those are also congruent. We call these vertical angles. Angles that are formed by two intersecting lines and the opposite angles, the angles across from one another, are always congruent.